In approximately 30 days, the marketplace in Rainbow Six Siege will be officially released. This is the perfect place for you to sell the skins you always hated, and oh boy, I have a bunch of them. And get some pretty good looking skins. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. So here are 5 things that you must know to be a pro and not a victim in the Rainbow Six Siege marketplace. Number 1. Understand the value. Before you dive into buying or selling, it's actually crucial to understand the market value of the skins. Prices go and go up or down based on the demand, rarity and in-game events. Make use of the beta period to observe price trends and get a sense of what skins are going for. Remember knowledge is power. For example, me, the knucklehead I am, I actually sold my mozzie pizza skin, it was the headgear and also the suit for him for a really really low price because that was pretty much what the people were buying it for in the beginning of the beta season from the marketplace from Rainbow Six Siege. As of right now the prices for that headgear actually went up three times so that's actually crazy so don't be me and don't sell your best skins or most rare skins for like the lowest price possible. All I wanted to do was like I was fucking lonely I wanted to just fucking stream and have a good time baby have a good game. <laughs> Number 2. Trading smart. Think of the marketplace as a stock market for skins. Buy low and sell high is the basic principle here. Keep an eye out on limited time skins that may spike in value or pretty much consider holding on to them until they can get a really really high price and you can pretty much get a good profit of them. Don't rush into transactions without thinking about the potential future value of the skin. Number 3 is a really good one, it's using filters and alerts. So you can pretty much make the most of the marketplace features using filters and alerts to stay updated on available skins. Set alerts for skins that you're specifically interested in so you never miss out when they become available and at a good price. So pretty much you can weasel your way out sometimes because if the skin you're really really interested in and for example a black ice skin that you pretty much can buy for, for example for two or three hundred credits you can pretty much sell it maybe later for the double the price. So don't be hesitant to use the alerts and filters because those are pretty much your best friends in the marketplace. Number 5 is a little bit more advanced, it's engaging with the community. The community can be a huge resource when it comes to trading. Engaging in forums, reddit or other social media platforms where players discuss the value of Rainbow Six Siege marketplace. So pretty much you can get a lot of tips from other users, providing insights, insights about the skins, the events, the pretty much the higher prices, what they expect, of, or like the, the value of the items changing. So pretty much you can get a lot of value from other people on the social media platform. And last but not least, number five is monitoring the economy. Keep a close eye on the overall economy of the Rainbow Six Siege marketplace. Understanding the app and the flow of the market is really, really important. Such as when players' activity spikes during events or new season launches. For example, when you can get the new season pass and you're playing it and there are a couple of skins that are pretty good, like this season we got a really, really cool Jaeger skin, which I am pretty sure that later on will become a really good value on the marketplace. If you get that from the season pass and you're actually buying the season pass, it can bring you a lot of value because you're getting it for free by just playing Rainbow Six Siege, but you can pretty much sell it for a lot of skins. And to be fully, fully honest with you, this is already not number five, but just my honest opinion. I actually sold a bunch of skins on the marketplace, which got me two new legendary skins. I got the Alibi and the Capital legendary skins, which are pretty, pretty lit, to be honest. Further, just to let you know, for the ones that are still not able to join the beta, you can actually sign up on the Ubisoft website. Pretty much the waiting time is usually two weeks, but soon, 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 the next season, the marketplace will be officially released for everyone, so you can actually take a look at it without signing up for the beta, which is really, really handy. But already now, you can pretty much sell skins, buy skins, and enjoy the fact that you're making a bunch of Rainbow Six Siege credits by selling the skins that you're actually never equipped on your player because you have a bunch of other pretty skins, or maybe skins that you don't like that you're willing to sell which are getting you a lot of credits which you can use for buying for example just as me some legendary skins so don't be shy if you want to be fast go sign up for the beta i will leave a link in the description of the video but if you are a little bit more patient fella you can actually wait a little bit longer and when it finally gets released you can pretty much join immediately and start selling and buying some skins thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>
He got a thick dick. He be making me fart. He getting me hard.